<laughs> Pokemon Legends Arceus is almost here. So close now. Oh, I cannot wait to play it. I've got one more day to wait, pretty much. This video made to spoilers for all the new Pokemon and Legends Arceus. I've seen them all. If you haven't yet, there's a lot of new ones that haven't been officially shown yet. Click off right now. Anyway, three, two, one, here we go. Here is a tier list. Well, I'm going to make a tier list of all the new Legends Arceus Pokemon, the Hisuians, the new evolutions, the new Pokemon, oh, including their shinies, because they're all really good, to be honest. Let's just get right into it. Starting off with Hisuian Zorua. That is a perfect Pokemon right there. S tier guaranteed. Probably, well, I put Zorua's line first for a reason, because Hisuian Zorua, his shiny is also S tier. Like, like the red looks amazing. The blue, whoa, perfect. That is the most amazing, that's probably in my top five shinies of all time. Not even kidding. 100% gonna be shiny hunting that. Hisuian Zoroark, the most badass looking Pokemon ever. I am so happy with how that turned out. It's amazing. The shiny turning the red into a purple also looks very awesome. Just so cool. Perfect. The new Hisuian line for Zoroa, like 100 out of 10 in my opinion. I love them. <laughs> I'm dying. This this is perfect. Next, Hisuian Growlithe. I like Hisuian Growlithe. Not my favorite. I know a lot of people like it for its cuteness. I think it's pretty cool. I'll give it an A tier. Um, I don't like it how its eyes are covered. Uh, other than that, I don't know. It's, it's a cool ever. It's a cool new form. It's shiny. I like how it stick to the original shiny of like regular Growlithe. I'll keep it an A tier. The Arcanine. Ar Hisuian Arcanine is another story. This looks badass. Like Zoroark. Arcanine, but he looks more evil. He looks, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's really cool. Not a big of a fan of its shiny, to be honest. I like the regular more than the shiny. I'm going to still put it A tier. It's still a great looking Pokemon. Uh, but that's where he goes, in my opinion. All right. Hisuian Decidueye. Decidueye is one of my favorite, like, Rowlet's whole evolution is one of my favorite starter lines. Probably in my top three, maybe top two. I don't know. And after hearing that all the final forms of the starters in this game were going to get Hisuians, I had high hopes. Not going to lie, when I saw Decidueye at first, I'm like, hmm... Come on, Pokemon. You could have done something better with that. But it's kind of grown on me. This sort of like, I think these are all these images are for their Pokedex. It, he doesn't look that good. But then I saw like images and um, videos of him in game and he looks a little bit better. It's grown on me a lot since I first saw it. A tier for me. I didn't like it at first. Now I kind of love it. <laughs> now it's shiny though. I really like how the shiny has gone back to its original colors. Um, I'm surprised that's not how he just turned out considering they thought let's make it a shiny. Like they didn't think just to make that the Pokemon? I don't know. Maybe the redness has some lore to Hisui. I don't know. But, but I love that. Actually, I might even... Mm, no, nah, I'll keep it A tier. It could have been better in my opinion. Hisui and Voltorb. It's Voltorb, but in a retro or like olden Pokemon day Pokeball with the new Pokeballs and whatever. I like him. As you can probably tell, I'm really liking all the new Hisui and Pokemon and like just everything from Legends Arceus. I am so hyped. The review, all the people who have played it, the reviews, the hackers who've got it early. They're saying it. It's like the best Pokemon game ever. And that's good. Usually the people who get it early are the people who like complain and be like, don't get this game but everyone seems to be so on board with how legends arceus turned out and i am so excited i'm planning on doing a whole let's play of it as well so if you care about that subscribe i haven't said that yet subscribe okay shiny hisui and voltorb on the other hand his he looks really cool when he's black um s tier for me hisui and electrode um they turned his i was gonna say frown upside down but his smile into a frown so he's angry now his eyes are like indented into his head kind of cool not as big of a fan of it as voltorb but still cool. B. Average, I reckon. The shiny. The black looks really good on Voltorb. That's an A for me. Or Electrode as well. It would have been cool if they went with uh, Voltorb's actual, like, original shiny blue. But I, I think the black looks really nice as well. Hisuian Lilligant. A very weird one. It's kind of Lilligant without its dress, I'm pretty sure. That's, that's like the main change. I really like it. Not gonna lie. It looks really cool. I don't think I've seen many people talk about it. I really like it. It's shiny. Goes back to its actual colors from non hisuian Also, A. I really like this, I don't want to say new region, but I really like this new half generation of new things. It's really cool. Okay, and the A pluses keep on coming because we've got Hisuian Sneasel. Maybe S tier. I love this. Like, Sneasel is a cool Pokemon on its own. Hisuian Sneasel, the color scheme, the, everything about it I love. I'm actually going to S tier that. There is nothing below B yet. I love, I, I'm so excited for this game. The shiny also looks really cool. Great colors. There. <laughs> okay. Sneasel. Sneasler. What the f*** happened to 
Sneasel, did they be having sex with Alolan Executor and grow legs? Sneasel been having sex with the tall Mario from Mario Maker? I don't know what happened. It's kind of the most cursed looking Pokemon ever. I love it. A tier. The shiny? I like it just as much. I'm very biased towards loving these all. This is like no duds for me. Okay, I don't know why I don't have the image of shiny Hisui and Quillfish, but Hisui and Quillfish, that is an S tier. It looks so cool. I don't know why. Quillfish is kind of a weird, forgettable Pokemon. Not forgettable, but like, who talks about, who who hypes up Quillfish? Hisui and Quillfish though. Love the colors. Everything about it's cool. I'm pretty sure it's shiny is like that, but white. I'd probably put that A tier. I think I like this one better. Oh, what what's his name again? The new one? Quill. Uh, Overquill. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Overquill. Really cool new evolution for Quillfish. S tier. Love it. Such a cool, like, I don't know. They just made Quillfish really cool. The shiny, I'm not, I'm, I'm mm, it's quite a downgrade in my opinion. I think the black and purple looks really good. The white and purple is not as good in my opinion. B tier, I reckon, with um, Hisui and Electro. Okay, Cleaver, a new evolution for Scyther. Really cool, totally unexpected. Never thought Scyther would be getting another evolution, to be honest. Um, I love it, S tier. So cool, it's Scyther, but instead of turning into Scizor with like scissor hands, Edward Scissor Hands, the movie, Star Tim Burton. Is that his name? Am I thinking of someone totally different? His hands are now axes. Really cool design. I love it. The shiny, kind of gross. Not gonna lie. Not a fan of it. Well, I'm not not a fan of it. Again, it's just a downgrade from the original, in my opinion. B tier. Still one. Like, if I found a shiny cleaver, I'd be ecstatic. I'd love that. Weird ear. The new evolution for Stantler. I thought it was an evolution for Sawsbuck when I saw first saw it. I don't know why. I don't know. Stantler. Eh is boring in my opinion. Weird ear, it's Christmas Stantler. Honestly, not that big of a fan of it. I don't dislike it, but it's not like anything I would ever have on my team or anything. The shiny, not gonna lie, looks kind of gross. I'm gonna put it in D tier. Don't hate me if you love shiny weird ear, but out of all these, this does not compare in my opinion. All right, Hisuian Basculin. Honestly, doesn't look that much different from regular Basculin. I think they easily could have gotten away with just having it evolve into Basculegion, not needing a new Hisuian form. Although, it it's nice to have new, like, new Pokemon. Honestly, C tier, nothing too crazy has changed. It's shiny, but honestly, I don't even know which one's shiny. I assume this one, because it has, like, white fins, and so do, well, yeah. I don't know, I think this is a shiny. It's the same, barely any difference. <coughs> okay, Basculegion on the other hand, a really, really cool looking Pokemon. It's like Gyarados, but Basculin, A tier for me. Very unexpected when I first saw it in one of like the trailers where they announced like the rideable Pokemon. I was like, that is such a cool Pokemon. And it is, Basculegion, A tier at least. Female Basculegion, I'm pretty sure. I like the red a lot more, it can go on B. Shiny, I think male Basculegion. Basculegion, A. Shiny female Basculegion, B. I like the male colors more than the female ones, in my opinion. Hisui and Samurott, to be honest, I think a little bit of a disappointment. I think Decidueye went through quite a big change to its overall look, whereas Samurott, I think its beard is bigger, if it even had one. I'm sure it did. And it has like a unicorn horn sort of thing. Honestly, C tier. Could have been much better. I think Duot evolving into Samurott just does not fit. I think they could have made it look more, I, I don't know. I'm just not not a big Samurott fan. His shiny though, it looks better. I like the white. Ursa Luna, I'm pretty sure that's its name. The evolved form of a new evolution of Ursa Ring. Kind of weird. I don't know how to feel about him. I haven't really seen anything of him besides these still images. As far as the image goes, not too crazy. Not, not a big fan. It's cool that Ursa Ring got a new evolution. This is not how I would have made it look, but I don't know. It's all right. Same with the shiny. It's a weird color. Not a big fan of it, but if you like it, good for you. Kasui and Braviary. This one's kind of weird. I don't know. It's colors are totally changed to just white. I wish they kept like the red and blue stripes he had on them. I'm pretty sure that's what the original looks like. Um, I like whatever this, the weird pink, blue eye things above his eyes are. I don't know what they are. That looks cool. I'll put him in a B tier. The shiny? Actually, no. I'll put him in C tier. Again, not a big fan. It's all right. The shiny looks cool. I like it being black instead of white. Hisuian's Ligu. Rest in peace, Goomy fans. I know there's a lot out there. No Hisuian Goomy. Well, we got Hisuian Gudra. No, it's Ligu. Yeah, that's what I meant. Um, big tail. If that's even a tail, not really that cool. The shiny? It looks better white, not brown. Not 
a big fan of those two. I was pretty hyped when I heard that Sligu and Gudra are getting new forms. Not very hyped about how they turned out. Same with Gudra. Big tail. That's about it. Maybe I can go there. I kind of like Gudra. The shiny, not as good. Bruh. All right, we're almost there now. Pursuian Typhlosion. When I first saw him, I was like, what? This looks terrible. It just looks like Typhlosion if he was 10 times less intimidating. And then I saw an image of his new like flames. His flames have like a new color and like new, I don't know, particles. It looks cool with the flames on. The flames off, he's terrible. So I'm going to equal it out to a B. With the flames on, A. With the flames off, honestly, D. It looks terrible, I think. Don't hate me. The shiny, I like the light blue. I wouldn't say it's A. I'd say it's also equalized here. But I like, let's just say I like the shiny more than the original, but it doesn't bump it up a tier. Hisuian Avalog. What? Such a random Pokemon to give a Hisuian? Especially since Bergmite didn't even get one? Um, not a lot really- well actually, it kind of changed a bit. Its legs are- they look like molten rock now instead of ice, and he's got the jawline of the Chad dude meme thing. I don't know, not that crazy. His shiny? Also not that crazy, but I like it more than the original. Not enough to bump it up a tier though. Alright, we're almost there. Almost there now. Now we got the new legendaries. If this last thing's even a legendary, I'm sure it is. Now I thought the new Dialga and Palkia were called Lord Dialga and Lord Palkia, which sounded really, really cool. Well, that's what people called them at first before we had a proper name for them. Apparently it's origin form now and that they're meant to look like Arceus, I think. I've tried to not look too deep into the leaks. I wanted to see what the new Pokemon were, but as far as story goes, not too informed on that yet. I want to like save it for when I actually play. Anyway, origin Dialga. It's weird. I like it. Is it better than normal Dialga? Um, a lot of people are definitely going to say no. I, I think it's equal. I like it. It's not better but I don't think it's worse. It's Dialga if he had throat cancer, or <laughs> a throat tumor, or a big spoon stuck in his throat. Honestly, I really like it. A tier for me. The shiny, I just hate shiny Dialga like in general and it's pretty much the same with the Hisuian form. C tier. It looks gross. Origin Palkia now. A lot of people do not like this one. I love it. <laughs> It's, it's really weird. Apparently, like, these, the uh, origin forms are meant to look like Dialga and Palkia, like, resembling Arceus in a way. It doesn't look like Arceus at all, but the randomness of how it looks, I really like. The fact that it has these massive shoulder blades, but no arms sticking out of it, is so cursed that I love it. Um, the shiny, barely changed. I like it less than the original, but it, it's enough to stay in A. I like them. Don't hate me. Now, this one's really, really weird. When you think we're getting a crazy open world diamond and pearl sort of spin-off, not spin-off, but like new sort of look to the game with new Pokemon, you'd think we'll get a new sort of legendary that resembles a legendary from this generation. Like maybe a new Manaphy, maybe a new Shaman form, maybe Darkrai form, like, I don't know. Not one of the cloud trios from Black and White. Thunderous, Tornadus, Landorus, and now I'm pretty sure this one's called like Enormous. I'm probably wrong. I know it's like Enor something Rus. I, I don't know. I'm just going to call it Enormous, Enormous, something like that. It, it's just a random thing to give a new legendary to, considering it's the only new legendary for this Diamond and Pearl olden days sort of new style of game. The closer you look at it, the weirder it is. It's got these weird eyes. It's got these weird lips. It's got a snake around its neck. It's like a top part. It looks like a heart. I love it. I want to say S tier. I feel like people aren't gonna like that I'm putting it here. I like it. It's just such an obscure, random, very weird new Pokemon. And I, I like the weird ones, as you can see, considering Sneasler and the origin forms are also an A. The shiny, the pink, it looks gross. B. Yeah, B would do. Um, it's land form. No, is that what it's called? Land form? Terrain form? Something like that. It's other form completely ruins it. I don't know how it goes from this, some like genie with a snake around its neck and big lips to some turtle looking ass with actually the snake, like a shell on its back. That's kind of cool. I've never noticed that. It's a big downgrade for me. Also in B. The shiny? Gross. Let's put it in D. So there we have it. My tier list of all the new Hisuian forms, the new Hisui region Pokemon, and yeah, and their shinies. This is my opinion only a few days after seeing these Pokemon, before I've even played the game. My opinions will probably change by the time I've finished the game, but there it is. I am so hyped for this game. Open world Pokemon has been a dream of mine 
for I don't know how long. And honestly, I think Legends Arceus is like a testing ground for open world Pokemon. I don't think Game Freak are done with open world after this. And people are already saying it's the best Pokemon. Pokemon's going in a very, very good direction right now as far as people who want open world. I cannot wait. Ugh. I'm gonna probably do a Let's Play on the whole thing. Maybe not all of it, but I'll do videos on it of my playthrough. Ah, I cannot wait. Let me know your thoughts. Where would you put these Pokemon in the tier list? Put it in the comments below. Do you hate me for putting one of your favorites down here in a low tier? Or do you think I'm dumb for putting one of these Pokemon in a high tier? Well, I don't give a shit about your opinion. Fuck you. Just kidding. I love you. Thank you all for watching.